We only get thank yous at night with the thank you crew. Thank you very much. See? I'm gonna call him Professor Pino. He's a professor. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. You're <laughs> welcome, Pino! <laughs> oh, shit. You know, baby! <laughs> <Suck>. <laughs> <laughs> I love you when you're nice. You little moon baby. Jake, I'm in love with him when you're nice, too. <laughs> He's only... Get in that room! Get in that room because I know that. Your And he has to care about it because she is what's going to advance him in this game if he, so if, he thinks. If he's not going for HOH, he has to. See, this week he'll be safe, so he thinks because Danielle and ED can get it. And I'm telling you, if you are not here, I believe 100% they will put up me and Jess. Mm -hmm. they oh, will. yeah. They will easily. And see, Eric's whole disposition is... Regardless of the jury votes, he don't care. He does not care. He's like, I have to just be one of the two standing here because they'll have to vote for one of us. So as long as I'm here, I'm in the game. He don't. He could care less about jury votes. And that's his side. Danielle, I don't know what hers is. She's worried about the votes at the house right now, too. Not but really. I mean, she is it. she is it because she's like... You know, she's like she said with Jen. Jen's like, if you, you know, evict me, I mean, you don't have my vote, and she doesn't care. Mm -hmm. So and Neil I really is playing really strategic. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, with that said, it seems like all three of them are in that mindset. Forget the votes, which is why they can't have one of us there because they know that we would get it. Just one H O H. Die. No. I will die. If I should make it that far, God, if Amber should still be here, I pray. Like, final three, it's done. It's a wrap. And I'm like, God, like, it's not, it's not too much to ask for H O H. Like, then it's not too much to ask that either one of us continue to win veto from this week forward. That's not too much to ask. Like, I believe he can do it. Like, Aaron, I just believe it. Please go to the diary room. I mean, it's just as out. I believe it. That's like, <clears throat> we had this one song at church. And like, after it's over with, like, our preacher, our pastor is just And if it's you, Danielle, and me, I'm good. Like, you'll be good. Like, any of those combos, we gave it a good fight, and we didn't give up. She's like, Amber, you don't understand. I mean, we have it. We, oh, I didn't tell you. Last night I got up. Well, last night I was, I'm, this God proved me a lesson. God showed me something last night. I heard Eric, and it was, it was late. It was like 5 in the morning. I went to bed at like 3.30, and I heard Eric and Danielle up in the kitchen. And I'm like, oh, my God. I'm like, she's probably forgotten to tell you everything. And then I laid there for like two minutes. I didn't hear Eric anymore. Like, I heard Eric briefly, and then he was gone. Mm -hmm. Then I thought maybe they were whispering. And I'm like, oh, I was going to wake you up and say go to the bathroom, if so it wasn't. But then I, I mean, I was gonna get up and just take a peek around the corner and see from the from the from the hallway right there. Mm -hmm. If I knew the camera would make a noise, mm -hmm. and I didn't want that. Mm -hmm. So I was like, I'll just get up and go to the bathroom, you know. And I got up and I, I was so sick in my stomach. I'm like, she's telling you everything right now. 
and I got out the cheesecake and cookies. 